placement and I forgot I even had these. I made these some years ago. And these are wintertime pillows, so I wanted to change my bed around so it could really show off the pillows. So that's why I'm changing it to the gray right now. Kings and queens have to use it before the season change over. Give you all a tip. These are great accent pillows and it saves you tons of money because they're mermaid pillows. So you can have it on the pink side or the silver side or the gold side or the white side. I have different ones of these in different colors. So you have two different looks with only one pillow. Saves you tons of money for keep buying pillows. It's that especially if you want to try something different or you do events and stuff. These are very good to have multiple styles. Kings and Queens, so I'm making my grocery list and, um, you know, different times of the year, I like to pull out one of my cookbooks, um, depending on what season it is. And I cook more in the winter time because I just need something real hearty. You know, I think we probably all do I want some comfort food. So I pulled out one of my cookbooks. This one is a practical one pot meal. And I like to try different stuff. I also pulled out you know, I keep this handy. This is my own personal recipes I keep that I go to often because I love to cook and y'all real talk. I love to eat. Okay. <laughs> so as I'm making my list, I'm trying to think. Oh, that look good. Like, um, what's something I could cook? Cause I just want something real hearty and um some comfort food. So I was just looking through this. Everything from vegetarian all the way to beef items. I have cooked out of this. <clears throat> I only cooked out of this book once before. Um, like I said, um, this is just one that I picked up because I wanted. I want some comfort food right now, you all. So, what do y'all think? What looks really good? Oh, a winter vegetable pot pie. Hmm. They got some of everything in here. And if y'all follow this channel, you know, I'm like a foodie. I love trying new restaurants, but I'm going to give y'all a tip. Restaurants are expensive. So when I go to a restaurant and I try something that I really like, I'll go on their site or I'll go on YouTube and I'll learn how to make it. And then you all see me cooking it in my vlogs and I'll cook it over time till I perfect it or at least come close to theirs. Save me a lot of time and money. And um, more people can eat it because it's cooked at home. I think I have an idea, you all. I think I have an idea. But yeah, let's keep on being intentional and get back to it. <laughs>
as you can see the water is almost fully dissolved i let them soak overnight they have popped open nice and soft and ready to be added okay kings and queens i'm gonna give you a tip i had put this in the refrigerator because i had to go somewhere i'm putting it back on this morning last night now this is pork i don't eat pork a whole lot because it's not really healthy for us but sometimes i will cook some now here's a tip with the pork though if you want to make it a little bit healthier i guess you would say see how when it get cold all that fat from the pork see how it's white that's like that stuff that's not good for us in there you can take your strainer yeah just skim it off the top and that's less going into your arteries kings and queens Okay, kings and queens, so I'm cleaning out my fridge, and um, I try to do it weekly. Some weeks I clean it better than others. This is my DIY multi-purpose cleaner. Um, I made this. I'll have an eye card to show you all how to make it. Basically, I clean out the fridge with this because I don't want all those harsh chemicals cleaning out my fridge or even this detergent, you know, have chemicals in it. Because over time, you know, you have food in it. And I don't want the food and chemicals together. I just don't like that, y'all. Also, if you have breathing problems or if you have small kids, a lot of people you know earth conscious people they use this to clean up the whole home and um you know it's just healthier on you and the environment so yeah try it out kings and queens now i notice over time my nozzle don't spray that much so what i do i just pour it out put it on a rag and wipe it down so y'all it's a real good cleaner to do the job that you need to do i had already started on it but yeah, it, it cleans it up really, really good. And i use my scrubber and just get on into the rest of it, kings and queens. Okay, kings and queens. So I ended up trying out this Lime Away. I didn't even know they carry them at the Dollar Tree. When I saw they had that in there, I heard it works really good. I like the nozzle. Y'all, it smells so freaking good. Oh my, it smells so good. And this stuff really does work. Because I had like a little stain in the bottom. I should have caught that for you all. But um, it really, it really worked. So, yeah, it really worked. And um, see, you can still see the little green there. And it has a nice sud up. Works really, really good. Yeah, you all, the smell is amazing. So I'm just going to let this dry off a little bit. Oh, a little tip. Let it dry off like that before you put it back into the... You know, the container it goes in. Yeah, I got to clean the floor too next, y'all. <laughs> you know, that way you won't have all that dirty, smelly over time. You know how it get all nasty. So, I just let it sit like this for a few seconds before I put it into that. Yeah, it got a nice and clean.